Okay, video time. This is me feeling just raw and sharing it. <sighs> Especially when it comes to liking somebody or what I would consider a bit of a heartache. Um, for me personally, there's a fear of attachment. And I recognize I've isolated myself because of that. And really, I mean, I want connection. I think we all do. We all want intimacy, um, love, bonding, appreciation, gratitude, like connection with a special someone or multiple someones. Um, it's like an innate longing. It's a part of our makeup, right? <laughs> so I woke up this morning after, uh, like, just, <sighs> it kind of hit me. There's a guy that I like and sort of told him, sort of didn't. Now he went on a date with somebody else and I think they're hitting it off. And this guy feels like family to me. He feels like a friend. But I noticed this morning, it kind of just hit me of like, wow, I'm sad. I'm fucking sad. Like, tears came up. I'm like, I like this guy. I didn't really directly tell him. I think I did. I'm not 100% sure. Being assertive in any sort of romantic situation is really challenging for me. Um, so it's a bit tough. Asking for what I want or what I need. And then also recognizing, I'm like, wow, if I don't ask for things, the opportunities, or go after stuff, the opportunities do slip by. Many opportunities come in our lives, but they also leave. And I just felt sad. I noticed internal judgment, so kind of this old programming, um, which, granted, is meant to come up, especially considering relationships or anything else like that because I think a lot of things we're not gonna be able to fully work through until we are in or dancing or dabbling with relationship. Um, like relationship, relationships bring up triggers, they bring up issues, they bring up you know, behaviors and habits that only come out in, in relation to another person. Um, and so this was kind of one that I'm like, how can I, you know, feel this differently, or not so much feel this differently, but allow myself to feel it. Like, allow myself to be sad. Allow myself to, to really like somebody. Allow myself to feel a little bit of heartache, because I, there's a sense of missed opportunity. Noticing that internal judge that creeped up just ever so slightly of just like, yeah, see, look what you did or didn't do. Then you missed out. Like, yeah, as if I'm bad or stupid or um, incompetent in any way. Um, just noticing all of it. And then I allowed myself to just kind of cry. Feeling silly, feeling stupid, wanting control of those feelings, <laughs> recognizing it was very hard for me to like, even admit to myself, I'm like, wow, I really like him. Like, I'm sad. I actually wanna be with him. Like, mm. uh, When a big part of me is like, push it away. I don't wanna feel this. That's, this is weak. Arr. And it's not. I think it's beautiful to actually feel so deeply for things to the point where I have some tears pop up. And it's not that big. It's actually, I would say, small compared to heartache. Um, or losing a loved one. Or breaking up after a long romantic spell. Like, for sure, this is just a, a drop in the pond of feels and emotions. But it was really cool to kind of just let myself feel and notice the negative thoughts, notice this bad self-talk um, and tell myself it's okay. It's okay to feel like, wow, how beautiful I was able to 
really like somebody. I was able to feel longing, attraction, desire. Um, to allow myself to want. So many times I haven't. That's kind of cool. A little bit of like, aw, thanks for feeling current. Yeah. <laughs> and it could also be a, a plethora of other like emotions or things, or maybe I just need a good cry. Um. <laughs> it's the morning and I'm sensitive. Um. But yeah, trying to appreciate, trying to process. Thought I'd share what was happening in the moment.